to say, hey, here's Charlie. Get your daddy and your mommy. Tell your homies all to get in line. It's nine to the morning. And I'm sending out a warning. Because it's time to do the nine at nine. So let's get right to it. Because it's time to do it. Gonna happen, uh, rain or shine. So let's all get together. But before we do the weather, I'm going to jump into the nine at nine. Nine at nine. Yes. The vocal, yes, because Tom wasn't that. available, so we had to sit in. But yeah. uh, thanks to Terry Bates for the wizardry on that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's some good stuff fun. there. And All Tar Keller is as Stephen Tyler. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, well done. All right, number nine. Drop your iPhone in water or accidentally get it wet. Whatever you do, don't try drying it out in a bowl of rice. The theory is that the raw grains absorb the moisture, but according to Apple's latest support document, rice can end up doing more damage to your phone. The tiny grains could get lodged in the ports and other tricks to avoid. You don't want to use cotton swabs or paper towels uh, to dry out the port and don't use an external heat source like a blow dryer. Instead, Apple suggests tapping your iPhone against your hand with the port facing the floor to allow any excess water to escape. And once you've done that, store your phone in a dry area. So now you know. All right. Yeah. Number eight, BuzzFeed assembled a list that they found on Reddit, disrespectful things people do in public all the time that need to be stopped. Here's the first one. I hate it when people can't put their carts back after grocery shop and they leave them in parking spots or on right. a random patch of grass. This happens at Costco all the time. Don't be so lazy. This is how cars get dinged or how there are no carts when you go shopping. The car people have to chase them from everywhere. Right. Okay, so next, why do so many people feel the need to stand right next to the baggage claim carousel? If mm -hmm. everyone too, took two steps back, everyone could then easily and quickly get their bags off. Mm -hmm. I'm always wondering, like, are people worried that someone's going to steal their luggage or it's just yeah. that they're in such a hurry to go? And you want to get it before but, it gets past you. Yeah, yeah that's true, yeah. There, right? Don't want to chase it down the carousel. Yeah. And this one, throwing gum or other trash in a urinal. Yeah. Someone's going to have to fish that out, and there's always a garbage can in the room. Don't be yeah. a jerk. Is this a mm -hmm. big problem? It, it yeah. can be. Yeah. 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 Like I said, just I throw the cigarette butts yeah. in there. Yeah. yeah. It's only a problem with men. Just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Generally. Yeah. 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 Uh, number seven. If you've ever wanted to get up close with gorillas, here's your chance. Oh, the right. Wilderness Lodge is opening in Rwanda this September. It's called the Sate Reserve. It's on the edge of Volcanoes National Park, which is home to 12 mountain gorilla families. All right. The lodge has four large villas that look out onto the volcanoes. It's all inclusive, costs $3,200 per person per night. Ooh. And the grills. <laughs> yeah, you worried more about the gorillas or the volcanoes at yeah. that point. Yeah, or, the so. yeah. or the price. Or the price. Right. Yeah, there's, yeah. There's, three there's three major concerns there yeah, yeah. To, to think about. Wow. Yeah. All right. Number six, uh, cell phones have come a long way in the past few decades. Just check out this old Radio Shack commercial from 1989. Get the lowest <laughs> price ever at Radio Shack on the most powerful transportable cellular phone system. Just $7.99 when you sign up with Radio Shack's authorized cellular phone carrier. Go where you want to go. There's nothing else to buy, and it's ready to go wherever you go. Call when you want Use in your car or go portable and take it along. Radio Shack's complete transportable cellular phone system. Just $7.99 only at Radio Shack, the technology store. Wow. Yeah, that's like $3,000. That's what I was thinking. Today, that's expensive. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah $7.99 yeah. back then? Three bucks. Yeah. Uh, it was like you're a John Wayne in a foxhole. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but you looked really cool yeah, when you're rolling down the beach. Yeah. <laughs> All right, number five. Here's another jungle getaway. This one is a sustainable treehouse resort on the Japanese island of Okinawa. Okinawa. Each of the tree houses is unique. One has a 360 degree view of the jungle and a relaxing deck space. Another is slightly more luxurious with a kitchen, king bed, shower, toilet, and even a washing machine. There's also a sauna treehouse, which is floor to ceiling windows and a slide that will take you out into a nearby river to cool off. Yet again, I just quite, I wonder about the wildlife. Yeah. But Otherwise, lovely. it looks fabulous. Yeah. Number four, we found an old British TV clip from 1974 that shows a man with a unique set of skills. Take a look. From Manchester, we bring you the unique Mr. Tony McCabe, a man who claims he can jump on hen's eggs and human noses without breaking them. <laughs> I skimmed them then. 
No? Yeah, see, this is where the, the, the thick legs come in. Yeah. Great shorts. <laughs> oh. Hey, look They're too here. high. There's some short shorts. Huh? Up with it. How's it click? Oh, there we are. That's it, is it? Oh, yeah, I felt it click, yeah. Oh, that, that is the jumping on the eggs. Oh, yes, it's definitely been jumped on the eggs. So Tony McKay claimed wow, he was, wait. in fact, jumping on the eggs by just kind of skimming the top of yeah, them. Yeah, he was. Well, you know, it's impressive no matter what. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Boring. That's well, talent. Good for him. Yeah. What a gift, right? Yeah. I wonder how he figured that one out. I and think he just conned the TV producers and to put them on, oh, yeah. on TV. Yeah. No. Let me show off my legs. Yeah. Well, and, uh, yeah. He had some great cams there. Yeah, yeah. really showcase. Yeah. Huh, good for him. All right, number three, some important news that comes uh, from a website about beds. If you like to have a snack before bed, cereal is probably not your best bet. Cereal is really a common thing that people like to have before they hit the hay because uh, it's easy to make and people think of it as light. But most cereals have a ton of sugar in them. They're kind of made to pep you up a little bit in the morning, but obviously a sugar jolt is not what you're looking for when you want to go to sleep. Uh, you could have one of those whole grain cereals, but those pretty much are horrible. So instead, uh, do what I do, uh, two old fashions, kick the dog and hit the sack. Uh, it's a fun time. <laughs> I gotta get a dog though. It's yeah, I, was say, I don't think yeah. you have the dog yet, but. It's a good, it's a good three-step yeah, program. Good strategy. Yeah. Number two, Paul, this was chosen for you, I think, All specifically. Right. This is the Relax Shower Foot and Back Massage. Ooh. So you can see how it works. It has little suction cups. You throw it up against, you know, either the yeah. the wall or the, uh. the floor, and you just go for it. Ah. Uh. Huh. You know, get a little exfoliation yeah. too wow. while you're, while you're wow, doing it. Great idea. Look, you can have multiple ones, yeah. different colors. Oh, yeah, it looks like minutes of fun. Yes, yeah. yes. Huh. Wash it off. Did we say the price? I, I got to guess like $5,000 for something like yeah. that. Yeah. It's very Six inexpensive. Bucks. Luxury. Yeah. Six bucks? That's what Six says. bucks yeah. for Six a lot of luxury. You can buy like Can't 300 of them. Yeah, if you want. full body luxury for $6. Woo. Number one, some angry news writers were talking yeah. about Kim Richards from the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, and they came upon uh, a movie she was in as a kid. Here's the trailer from. Devil Dog, Hound of Hell, 1978. Hmm. Puppies. Hey. Hey, hold it. Hey. Which one oh, that's her right you? there. That's her? 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 No. <laughs> well, no. Her. Oh, look no, at this. Her. Oh. Something different what? about him. Her? I think no. you're imagining things. <laughs> What's the dog? Wow. I don't remember oh, this at no. all. Mm. Oh, oh no. Oh, you're right now. Wow. Oh, that what devil dog. Mm -hmm. Mike, those two kids were in like every Disney she, Escape to Witch Mountain. She was in oh, Escape to right? Witch Mountain. 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 She was in Nanny and the Professor when she was even younger than this regular series. But wow. Kim Richards was in a lot of stuff as a kid. Yeah. So what happened to her? She got on the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Her sister married con her. Uh, one of the Hiltons. And I think I saw this. I it's bet this be won a lot of awards. Like what, 60 now, right? Close to Probably 60? Probably approaching, yeah, I yeah. bet. Wow. This is pretty. This yeah. looks kind of. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Maybe we should have given a warning to the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, it might, yeah. yeah. Next time. Yeah, yeah. it's a nine and nine. <laughs> nine and nine.